have a uh, 2014 Toyota RAV4 here. Now the problem is uh, the seatbelt buckle. You can see with my seatbelt buckled in, the light's still on. So I'm gonna show you the data on here. I went to the uh, airbag. So left side is the driver's side right side is the passenger side so i'm gonna buckle it in uh, you're gonna see the right side says set you see it the data now it's unset now it's set now for the left side driver's side i'm gonna unbuckle it nothing buckle it back nothing Nothing changed on the data. You can see. Now I'm gonna chase down the wire. I believe the wire's right here, and I'm gonna chase it out. I tried to uh, unplug it and plug it back in, see if the light disappeared, see if there's anything wrong with the uh, connector or the wire, which is this one right here. Now I'm in front of the seat. Uh, this connector right here is for the seatbelt buckle. You're gonna press on the tab down here To disconnect it and connect it back. Well, I tried that to see if the light um, Turns off, but it did not There's something wrong inside this buckle the spring or it could be electrical So I'm just gonna change out the whole thing buy from a dealer I have the new uh, seatbelt buckle here um, yeah, part number for the new belt buckle um, it has two connectors that comes with it the big one and the little one you know for some reason if you can't uh, get the seatbelt buckle out if it's too hard for you to reach your hand in or do a certain things just take out the uh, two bolts in the front right here and the two in the back so you can take out the whole chair that way it's easier for you to work on the little one which is on the side um, which is on the side right here I'm gonna show you from the back side you can see where I'm pointing in with my flashlight that black small one that one right there and for the seat belt buckle you're gonna use a uh, 14 millimeter wrench to uh, take this bolt out right here so for, for the uh, clips uh, you're gonna Use a needle nose right here, press on the side, and uh, squeeze it in both together and uh, wiggle it out. It's kind of hard, but there you go. So here's a better view for you to see how to take out the clips. I'm going to press it on these two tabs right here on the side. And there's two more clips in the front side, one right here and one right here. For the uh, black connector, kind of push this up a little bit. There you go. After you took out all the clips, uh, kind of feed the wire to the side of the uh, seatbelt buckle and pull it out from the back side. To install it, you're just gonna do the reverse step. You're just gonna feed the connector back in that way. Make sure you uh, have it sits like this. This is the right way. This is backward. You're gonna have to sit like where the slot is right here. This little groove right here. The uh, clip back on the same place. Um, got my uh, three connectors. Little black connector is also in. This one. Now let's see if the seat belt uh, light turns off. That's good. You guys remember the old one? It still stayed on even if uh, I buckled it in. This is off. On. See how it says with the left side? Set. Unset. Set. I'm just gonna clear the code. And that's it. Cycle the key.
and it's good. All right, guys, that's it. Um, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to ask me anything, comment down on my uh, comment. If you guys want to ask me anything, comment down below. Um, give my video a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe, guys. Thank you.